What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. If you want to learn about the Microsoft Power Platform, hit subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully you'll learn some, some good stuff. So today we're going to talk about how to show icons in views in Power Apps. So I'm going to go through this post by Microsoft in the documentation. This shows exactly how to do it. We're going to walk through this and we're going to see how cool this is because this really opens up uh, the visual aspects of looking at views, right? So um, if we if we see this here on the screen, we have a picture here of the of the uh, opportunity view, and we can see this highlighted column here, and this is the rating column, right? So so in 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 the power in Power Apps in Dynamics 365 in opportunities, you have this uh, rating field which has basically a, a hot and a warm and a cold uh, option set values and uh you know it's if you're looking at the text itself you can obviously see if whether it says hot or warm or cold but but you could see here if you you know if you add icons to this field in the view then it gives you a much better visual representation of the field right so that's the idea behind this you want to make it so appealing for the user and we're going to see the difference here with using these icons. It just looks so much better, okay? And it's really not that difficult to set up. So let's go ahead and dive into how to do this. And so the first thing I want to show you guys is just really what this looks like uh, without the icon. So, so this is my environment over here, and I have three opportunities. And we can see here that uh, this is the ratings field over here on the right. And we have the, uh, a hot, a warm, and a warm. We have two warms. So I'm going to change this third one here. And I just threw the rating field onto the top of the form here. Um, so just to make it really easy to go ahead and change this. And I'm just going to change this one to cold here. We're going to do a save and close. And now we'll have the three different types of ratings represented for each of these three opportunities. Okay. So, so let's go through and, and walk through uh, what we need to do here. So I'm going to go back here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to um, upload our web resources and our pictures that are going to represent the, the little icons that we're displaying, okay? Um, and basically here it says that we'll need to use a icon size of 16 by 16 pixels and larger images will be scaled down, okay? So what I've gone ahead and done is created uh, three little icons here that represent uh, the, the cold, hot, and warm. And really very simple, if I just go ahead and open these, we're just gonna see like it's a 16 by 16 square and it's just, this one's just the color blue and that's all I've done, right? So it's it's really very easy to uh, to just go ahead and create these in some kind of a paint application that you'll have in Windows. Um, or, you know, go ahead and download some, some, some icons online or, you know, create m more interesting ones yourself as well, okay? So I've got the three here and I've named them, uh, you can see I've named them new underscore cold and they're, they're all PNG files you underscore hot, you underscore warm. So let's go jump into the Power Apps Maker portal and I'm gonna go to solutions. And first thing I'm gonna do is create a new solution. And let's go ahead and call this uh, view customization. Okay, so we're just gonna customize the view. That's why I'm calling it that. Select a publisher here. And to keep this real simple, I'm gonna select the default publisher because I know that this one is gonna provide the new underscore name. And so, uh, these scripts are specifically going to look for that, and we're going to see. Uh, it's, it, it would be easy to change it to your own um, publisher if you want, uh, but I'm just going to keep it super simple and do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to click create here, and this is going off to create our uh, solution. So now that we have the solution, let's jump in here, and what we will do is create uh, three new web resources. So I'm going to click new, I'm going to go down to web resource. And let's go ahead and select the file. And I'm selecting here, let's do the cold one first and the display name, you underscore cold, you underscore cold, PNG format, leave everything as is, click save. And that's the first one. Let's go and do this two more times. Web resource. And this second one's gonna be hot, you underscore hot. And save. And so now let's do the last one, web resource. We're gonna select the warm file this time and make this new underscore warm. 
and warm and PNG format, we're gonna click save. So now we have the three icons ready to go, okay? So now if we go back over here, um, if we scroll down a little bit, the next thing we wanna do is create a JavaScript function, okay? So this function here, uh, let's go and take a look at it. This is what's gonna run when the view gets rendered, okay? So this is the, the function name, it has two parameters. You have the row ID and the user uh, local ID. So first thing we do here is we basically pass uh, the JSON, which is the row, row data, okay? So the row data, and then we can get some values out of that. And what we're grabbing here is the opportunity rating value, okay? So we're grabbing that, and then we're basically uh, doing a switch statement here, and we're looking at it, and we're basically saying, well, if it's equal to one, then we know that it's gonna be a, uh, a hot rating. So we're gonna provide an image name here, and, and you can see this is the image name that we uploaded for the hot one, new underscore hot. And then we have here uh, a little switch statement again, and this just basically looks at the user locale and basically says, well, if, it's, if it happens to be a 1036, then we know that that's a French one, and we're gonna provide a tooltip here in French, right? And, you know, the tooltip is just the word French, and then it says opportunity is hot. It's not actually written in French, but it should be, right? <laughs> so this is just a kind of a quirk with this little uh, demo script. But basically, you know, if you want to put a tooltip into a different language, then that's what this is here. It is being passed in, and that gives us the option to be able to uh, give a tooltip. So when the user actually scrolls over the icon that gets displayed, we can write out whatever we want to in that given language of whatever the user is set to. Okay, so the default one here is uh, is in English. It says opportunity is hot. And then uh, we basically do this three a uh, couple of more times. So basically, if it's a number two here, the rating is going to be warm. So we want to pass in the warm image name. And then we want to uh, basically say that the opportunity is warm. And then the same deal with this one. If it's cold, we use the cold image. Um, we pass in the, the tooltip as well. And then right at the end here, we're going to return a, an array. And the, the, the first part of the array is going to be the image name. And then the second part's going to be the tooltip. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to pass this back over to the view. And then the view knows what to do in order to display the field of the rating. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up here and copy this, and now we're going to create a new JavaScript file, which is going to be the web resource to hold this information. So here's the JavaScript file that I created. It's called view.js. I'm just going to paste in here the exact same sample script that's provided in the documentation that we went through, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this, and now this is ready to go. So back over here in uh, the PowerApps Maker portal, I'm going to do a new and then I'm gonna do another web resource. And then this time, this one's just gonna be uh, the, the view JavaScript that we created. I'm just gonna call this uh, view.js, view.js. You can call this anything you want. And the type is JavaScript, it's picked it up, and I'm gonna click save, okay? So these are the uh, web resources that we need. And now the final step in this, and it, this is how it's so easy, right? The final step is to, we're gonna add in the uh, opportunity table, and I'm just gonna add in one view. So let's go to opportunity here. So I'm gonna select this, click next, and then select objects. And here I'm just gonna do, uh, head over to views here and select the one view that I wanna change this on, which is all opportunities. And I'm gonna click add, I'm gonna click add, and we're gonna have the uh, opportunity view here ready to go, okay? So if I go down here, and I just love this new uh, Maker Portal, but if I go in here, I can see that this is the view. So now let's go into it, and uh, we're gonna, it's gonna open up in the new PowerApps Maker Portal, but we're gonna switch over to the classic. So I'm just gonna click here, switch to classic, and then that will give us um, the field over here. So this is the rating field, right? So, so again, back over in our view, that's this field here, rating, okay? And we have no icons, it's just displaying the, uh, the, the field text at this point. And now, if I double click on this field here, this is the cool part here, right? So here we can define a web resource and a function name, right? So all I have to do 
is I'm going to go over here and just uh, find the the view.javascript that we created. So it's going to be like this. I'm going to search for it. And so that's the one we want. I'm going to click add. And then now we define the function name. So to, to grab the function name, I'm just going to grab this from here, right? This is the function display icon tooltip. And I'm going to paste that in here like this. Okay. So, so that's all you need to do. All you need to do. You have the web resource and within the web resource, what's the function we want to call It's this one, right? And you know, you can play around with the width of the column here as well. So once you test this out, you'll be able to see how much space the new icon is taking with the text. And then you can kind of figure out if you want to make this bigger or smaller. So I'm going to click OK here. And let's go ahead and uh, save and close this. And once this is done, we'll go back to the maker portal here. And uh, what I've found is you do need to do a publish uh, here. So just go ahead and hit publish. Uh, I'm going to publish all, it's fine. And um, once this finishes, we should be ready to test this out. All right, so it says uh, publish all customization succeeded. So now let's go hop back over to our view here. And I'm going to hit refresh here. And let's take a look and see if it comes through. Okay, so there it is. So uh, we can see here, these are the icons, right? So it's, we've got hot, warm, and cold. Uh, so it's picking those up. And if I just hover over this, we see it says the opportunity is hot, right? And then here, this one says opportunity is warm. And then here we have opportunity is cold. So that is the uh, the tooltips here that we're seeing, right? So this is the this is exactly what that is. Now, if we uh, let's say we want to change this to French, right? So I'm going to go into personalization settings, and I have uh, French installed here on this particular organization. So that's going to allow me to kind of test out this second piece of the functionality. So if I head over to languages, now I'm just going to click French over here and click OK. It's going to automatically refresh for me. And you can see here that uh, French is loading here over, over on the left here. And then so now the uh, if I zoom over here over again, it says so this is where it was kind of funny in the example, right? But it says uh, French colon space opportunity is hot, right? And then uh, same deal with this opportunity is warm and up French opportunity is cold, right? So it's we need at least we know it's picking up the the locale of, of the user and it's uh, displaying the appropriate tooltip, right? And you could just see, you know, it just looks so much nicer as well, right? So um, without this, it's just a whole bunch of text. With this, you can automatically get that that visualization, right? And if we were to like, let's say I wanted to change one of these, if I go to opportunity one, and let's make this uh, a, a different one of these here, and I'm gonna select this one here, and then I'm gonna save and close over here, and we could see here that it's changed, right? So it's changed to the cold one here, right? So um, yeah, automatically changes for you. You don't have to do anything else. It renders it, displays it, and uh, helps the user out. Uh, a couple of things I just wanna point out here, if we just go back to the documentation. So one thing is um, it, we have this note here. Just wanna just wanna kind of call this out. It says, do not use synchronous H X, uh, XML HTTP request in your custom function, right? So just something to be wary of there. Um, you know, don't make it synchronous. If you need to go out and uh, make an additional call to basically, you know, before you actually decide what what picture to display, or if or if you want to decide what which uh, tooltip to write, you know, if you need to do any kind of additional processing here, don't use uh, synchronous calls within this particular JavaScript. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is. Um, this is kind of just another interesting little piece here. It says, this is the, the primary columns here, how it displays it. So in the grid list view, custom icons applied to the table primary column, uh, uh, replace the default system generated icon, okay? And then it says with other columns in the grid list view, custom icons applied to a column that isn't the table primary column display as a secondary icon in addition to the default system generated icon. Okay, so that's something there. And then here's the card forms. Card custom icons replace the system 
uh, generated default icon when the view is configured to use a card form. Okay, so just some call outs there. Uh, but otherwise, you know, go back here. It just looks really nice. And, you know, so I guess get the brain working, see how uh, if you have any particular fields that this might be useful for. And uh, hopefully that will help your end users. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.